Hello, it is Thursday. It is 4.05 and I am disgusting. It is 10 degrees cooler, like temperature wise, but it is 50,000 humidity. The percentage is 50,000 humidity. <laughs> I don't know what the exact percentage of the humidity is, but it is a lot more than yesterday and it is brutal. If I thought yesterday and the day before yesterday were bad, today, oh my gosh, it's whipping my butt. It's horrible. And I know if I was in the LLV, oh Lord, but you know what? This thing, I really like it. Look at it. I do. I just read some comments on my video about my rent being raised and then what you guys pay. That's crazy. I can't, I can't even imagine when I lived in that little house, um, it was two bedrooms. I had a nice yard. You guys saw it. Um, but I paid six fifty a month for that. The only reason was because I moved in that place. Like I think it was like 2007 and the, uh, the guy never raised the rent like ever. So I was paying six fifty for 12, 13 years, however long. So when I started looking for a place you know, right after I had COVID or two, three years ago, two years ago, um, I got a reality check because that's not the norm. And me paying 850 is like the lowest I could find. Like, I believe the norm here, I think what I was looking for, just basic was like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. I was lucky to find my little apartment and I found it through a friend of a friend and looking for an apartment or a house or what that's hard. That is not easy at all. Anyway, so yes, I, I get, I feel you. And the people that live in vans, I would love to live like in an RV. I think that'd be so cool. And plus you'd save a lot of money. And yeah, I see a lot of people living in vans. I mean, if I didn't have a whole family, but I mean, there are some families that do it, but I can understand why. I mean, rent is crazy. And then like they're raising all this stuff, the gas, the food, the rent, any, everything. But aren't we supposed to get a raise like isn't it supposed to even out or is this not how it works <laughs> you know what I mean like is that not what happens because I would feel like you you'd have to like even it out at some point or at some point is is it going to go down the inflation going to go down or are we just gonna be stuck I don't know but I do know that I need to get going I am like if I took my clothes off I could slap you in the face and you'd have water on your face. <laughs> it's disgusting. The mail is disgusting because I hold my mail like right here. It's like up against me. And by the time I deliver the piece of mail, it's wet and it's not from rain. It's from sweat. So a little piece of me is going to every, every house today. It's got a little piece of me. So I hope that they appreciate it. That my blood, sweat, and tears is going into this mail literally that's disgusting, but I, I can't help it. There's nothing I can do about this. I cannot wait to take a shower. Um, but anyway, I hope that you are not battling the heat and I hope that your rent has not been raised. Um, I'm going to go. I've got one more relay, 30 more minutes and that's it. I got a couple of packages I need to uh, deliver big ones. And then we're going, then we are going to go home and take a, um, a cold shower. I say take a cold shower, but let me tell you something really strange and then I'm going to go or just annoying. And then I'll go my shower. I have really hot water. Like if you turned it on hot, like full blast, you'd burn yourself. Like you would, you get like a burn or something. So when I take, when I try to take a cold shower, like the little handles, you know, in the tub, you turn hot, cold. Well, I turn you know, I want to call it not a cold shower, but I want a cool shower. All right. But my handle for my hot, as you're taking a shower, it's like a ghost. It's slowly like I don't want it cold. So I put it like, you know, over here. But as I take a shower, it moves to the hot, Do you know, like it goes because I was taking a shower one time. I was taking a shower one time. And it kept getting hotter and hotter. And I watched the damn nozzle or whatever, and it would move. <laughs> I don't know. So taking a cool shower is hard. I mean, I you have to keep turning. Anyway, fun fact. Um, all right, I'm going to go, and I will check back in with you in my car. Can you see the sweat? 
just a second ago, it was dripping off my arm. This, this is what it's been like all day today, guys. This is what I've been going through. That's my sweat. We are home and I am walking this dog, which is exactly what I want to do after I've walked 14 miles in this weather. But he needs to be walked, so walk we will. He is not having it. He says, hell no. Hey Google, why did you lie about the weather forecast today? Today in Norfolk, there'll be isolated thunderstorms with a forecast. Hey Google, this morning I asked her what the weather was gonna be like, and she said it was gonna be 89 degrees and low humidity. She's a liar. She is a liar. <laughs> anyway, I cannot wait to take a shower. Um, I'm just doing a big salad tonight. I'm not cooking. Eddie ordered Chinese food, but I'm going to make a salad um, because I'm not cooking. All right. If I could go on vacation until October 1st, that would be great. That'd be perfect. I wish I could do that. This job has made me hate, like, I, like if I could punch the summer in the face, I would punch summer, like summertime. I would, I can't stand it, I can't. But anyway, I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna make a salad. XO did the laundry for me because my clothes, oh my God, my clothes, I've worn all my clothes. So XO put, started the laundry, put it in the dryer, and I told them I would come down and get it from the dryer. Yeah, I had to do laundry. This is where the laundry will sit and I will dig out the clothes that I need and I will probably fold them tomorrow because I'm not folding all those clothes tonight, all right? Um, yeah, so we're going to dig through our, our clothes, find our uniform, and that's going to be it. Right, Beanie? We are not folding the clothes tonight. No, we are not. Got the apartment sort of cleaned up. I need to fold that uh, blanket put my tap my pillows I don't I like to have the living room at least picked up just in case anyone ever comes over nobody ever comes over but I like it so that if somebody ever came over you know everything would look nice and you know picked up I, I can't stand it I vacuumed because I didn't get a chance to do it when I left for work because you know how I feel about that um, at least I got that done but anyway um, he's already been fed so I just need to tidy up, put this in my room, you know, in case that, that, you know, invisible person comes to visit my house and that's it. I don't know. Do any of you do that when you go to bed, like you straighten everything up so that just in case I just feel better. I just feel better when it's, you know, and it might, is my house completely perfectly clean? No, it's not. This bag has been sitting here for like two weeks. This has been sitting here for like three days. It's the thing that holds the dog poop bags because it fell out of the little holder, but I just left it there. <laughs> I didn't, it's been there for three days. Who cares? Um, but yeah, that's the status of my house right now. Much better. All right, guys, it's 8.15. I think I'm going to start wrapping the vlog up. I am listening to uh, NOS4A2. That's the name of the book by Joe Hill. It's backwards. Anyway, um, and the narrator is Kate Mulgrew. Never heard of her. I mean, I'm not hip on narrators, but let me tell you something. She is awesome. She's probably the best narrator I have heard in the 300,000 books that I've listened to. She is amazing. And this book, okay, I listened to um, a, another book by Joe Hill, which is Stephen King's son. And it was called Heart Shaped Box. And from what I gather, okay, Joe Hill is like Stephen King, of course, horror, horror, you know. But it's a very, like, dark Okay, like there's a lot of, not a lot, but like there is sexual, like dark, twisted 
things. Which I, I mean, am I gonna, am I, is he darker than Stephen King and some of his writing? Because I'm gonna tell you one thing, okay? When you watch a movie and then you've read the book, there, there's a lot of differences, especially like I've noticed with Stephen King's books because they don't seem to put a lot of like things from Stephen King's, like his writing and the way that he phrases things and says things because you just couldn't say those things in, like in the movie. Like if you were really true to what the book was saying, okay, because Stephen King can get really dark and twisted and apparently his son can get darker and more twisted. But I am very impressed so far by um, Joe Hill. So, yeah, I like this book a lot. I can't even really explain to you what the book is about. I know that sounds crazy. I've listened to probably three hours of it, but I, it's a 20-hour book, so I still need to, like, grasp, okay? And then I can tell you what it's about because I can't even tell you, but it's really good. Uh, but The Heart-Shaped Box, that was good. I don't, I don't know if that was a movie or not. I feel like it was. Maybe not. Probably not, but anyway. But the narrator for this book, it's like... It's NOS422. I think there's a way to say that, but I, I don't know. Anyway, the narrator is awesome. Like, she's narrating it in such a way that, like, when I listen to a book or, like, read a book, it's, like, it's a, in my head. I can see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a movie. But it's it's very vivid with this lady. Like, she's she's very good. Anyway, you know I get excited when I find a really good book and especially a really good narrator because a narrator can make or break a book. If you got a crappy narrator and a good book, the book is pointless. But anyway, I just thought I'd tell you what I was reading. Um, I used my last little credit that I had to get the Joe Hill book and I'm not mad about it. And also, I had to take off my, um, my um, necklace. So you guys, you know, you don't know what my name is anymore because my necklace says Meredith. But... The chain, like, going around my neck from all this sweat is, like, hurting the back of my neck. It's, like, making, and this is gross. I'm just very gross lately, guys, and it's not going to get better. Like a rash from the chain or just the, the rubbing of it. So I had to take it off, and I feel, like, really naked without it. I don't like it. But the second I took it off, oh, my gosh, it just felt so be so much better. And it's not like the chain is, like, bad or it's bad jewelry or anything like that but it's just from the heat and the sweat and grossness that i am for the next couple of months because i'm a mail carrier and have to deliver the mail rain snow sleet tornadoes hurricanes extreme heat who cares we're delivering the mail but anyway i hope that you're having a good day i hope you're having a good week are you hot are you sweating? Are you not? Is it cold where you are? I wish it was cold. I wish it was October. Actually, I wish it was September 15th because then I would decorate for Halloween. That's when I start decorating. Right after Exo's birthday. It's going down, all right? And last year, I did a really good job. But um, obviously, you will see what it looks like this year. So... I'm going to go. I will talk to you tomorrow. As always, I'll vlog again tomorrow. Bye, everyone.